my life. I'll tell you, this one date I had, we were so friggin' horny, we're driving in the car, and I just can't wait to get to the hotel. So we go in the back seat, we park the car, and we're giving each other oral sex. The next thing I see, a cop, he's sticking his flashlight in the car. You know, he wrote me a speeding ticket for doing 69 and a fucking 30. <laughs> other girl would you like to go out she told me uh yeah you know i said how would you like to go horseback riding okay we had a great time until i ran out of quarters then the staff of uh, stop and shop kicked us the hell out of there yeah. i dated a girl with a lazy eye but i had it ended because i kept thinking she was seeing other guys on the side <laughs> I was in bed with this girl who told me, you know, after I have an orgasm, I like to cuddle and kiss until I fall asleep. What do you do? I told her I usually delete my browsing history and flush the tissues down the fucking toilet. This other woman I met, she said, hey, Duke, make love to me like they do in the movies. So I ripped off her blouse, I bit her nipples, I pulled her pants down, I smacked her in the ass, I turned her around, I did her doggy style, I took her head, I made her suck me off until I shot a load in her face. That's when I realized, we don't watch the same movies. Yeah. I was in bed with this blind girl, she told me I had the biggest dick she ever felt. I thought she was pulling my leg. <laughs> but I did date this girl, her name was Kim. She was half Korean. Now don't get me wrong, her mother was Korean and her father was Korean. But unfortunately, she lost her legs in an auto accident. So, yeah, I know I'm gonna help her that one. Yeah? I kept standing her up, pushing her around, and when I stole her wheelchair, she said, that's it. And I told her, you'll come crawling back. <laughs> I needed to go on an adult vacation because all my vacations were with little kids. I took my two sons to uh, the uh, Hershey Park. I went into the motel, I said to the motel clerk, I pointed to him, I said, I hope the porn is disabled. He says, it's regular porn, you sick fucking bastard. <laughs> then, I'm in the shower, and my five-year-old son climbs in, and I knew the awkward questions were gonna start. How come your penis is so much longer and fatter than mine? All my kid could say is, I don't know, Dad. <laughs> so I went to a travel agent, and I said, listen, I'd like to go to Smithereens. And he said, I never heard of it. I said, I don't know much about it myself, but I heard everyone gets blown there. <laughs> I ended up going to Club Med. I have to tell you, it was great. First of all, the flight attendant was fantastic. I walked on, she said, would you care for some headphones? I said, absolutely. How did you know my name was Phones? <laughs> when I got there, I went to the disco. Let me tell you, I was the king of the dance floor. Seriously. They played the twist, and I did the twist. They played jump, and I jumped. They played come on Eileen, they kicked my fucking ass out of me. And let me tell you something else. If you ever go to Club Med, whatever you do, don't buy a Club Med t-shirt. They're fucking dangerous. Seriously. I put mine in the washing machine, the thief fell off. I was walking around with a shirt that said, Club Me. <laughs> now, I'll tell you, it's Good Friday, which means Easter is coming up, and I love the holidays. My favorite was Halloween. Me and the wife used to go in the same costume. She would go as a brick. I would go as a bricklayer. But one year she wanted to go as a Rastafarian and she wanted me to do her hair. Let me tell you, I was fucking dreading it. Christmas, I started to hate. 